Would Elon Musk rocket contain a space oddity? Or is it all par for the course for Mursk? Find out more on today's Musk Watch! Oh, it feels like we've been waiting forever for the first launch of SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket, and Elon Musk has been canceling launch date to launch date, and we've been getting antsy. Call Matthew McConaughey because it sounds like Elon Musk is having a real <laughs> failure to launch. Interstellar joke, nice. <laughs> no, like failure to launch, like the Matthew McConaughey movie. Anyway, it's a much superior McConaughey film if I'm being honest and just looking at his oeuvre, but back to our story. All right. Our wait might be soon coming to an end, and SpaceX President Gwyn Shotwell, mm. cool name, yeah. said a full static test of the Falcon Heavy's 27 Merlin engines will happen before the year is up. These are wizard engines. Wizard engines, You're Harry. an engine, Harry. You're an engine with a lot of thrust. And now Musk himself has confirmed that the first Falcon Heavy launch will be happening in early 2018, saying, quote, Falcon Heavy to launch next month from Apollo 11 pad, it's a cape. We'll have double thrust of next largest rocket, guaranteed to be exciting one way or another, end it, quote. It is going to be exciting mm. one way or another, end quote. So either we get a successful launch or an extremely expensive explosion Woo! made more expensive by the Falcon Heavy's payload. As per the daddy, <clears throat> payload will be my midnight cherry Tesla roads to playing space oddity. Destination is Mars orbit. We'll be in deep space for a billion years or so if it doesn't blow up on ascent. Now, Dan, what part do you think is the most expensive? The roadster, the rocket, or the rights to space oddity? Well, I think it's probably the road... No, the rocket. Definitely the rocket. Yeah, the roadster's right. not that expensive. No. But, like, it depends on, I guess, how many times he's playing space oddity. Yeah, and, if it's like, on repeat for a billion years. Like, maybe they gave him a sweetheart deal. Like, he might just be streaming it through Spotify. We don't know. Yeah. Honestly, I don't think there's anything the more that we can say about this, because any joke is just going to sound trite and plain next to the fact that Musk is actually going to fire up some Bowie on his cherry red Tesla Roadster and shoot it up in a rocket at Mars. Forever. It's pretty cool. Tesla has been working the past few months in Puerto Rico to help restore and revive power systems after the destruction of Hurricane Maria. And we have a new update. Tesla's connecting more power packs to existing solar arrays on two Puerto Rican islands to run microgrids until the main grid can be reconnected. These batteries will be used to stabilize power for critical systems like water treatment centers and hospitals. So thank you, Tesla, for continuing this important work, and we look forward to hearing more updates. No jokes, just good sh but in the meantime, we've got a boring company update for you, and it's not boring! Is it an exciting update? Oh, yeah! Oh, well, yeah, I mean, you, I got, mean, you I guys kinda, get it. Yeah. You, get, you guys get yeah, it. You, you get the joke's yeah, name of yeah. company, because boring's a word for... <laughs> anyway, Elon dumb, Musk Kevin. and the Boring Company published a map on their website of their proposed Los Angeles routes, and they are pretty extensive. More so than some of the actual public transport lines in Los Angeles. That's not a joke. Just a gripe our producers wanted to shoehorn into the episode. We get it. I mean... We make, we make small talk. We're in Los Angeles. We talk about traffic. I don't care. To be I fair... I bike to work never. It took 50 years to reconnect a train from downtown to Santa Monica. Get your shit together. I, for one, am really excited to see what the uh, boring company can do. Okay, it's do. time for your must-see moment of the week. Must Stop see. it. Stop with the puns. People try to step up to dad all the time, the latest being Boeing, good luck, when Fortune tweeted out an article about how Boeing wants to beat SpaceX to Mars, Elon Musk replied by saying, do it. And much like Chancellor Palpatine using those same words to tell Anakin Skywalker to betray years of Jedi training by giving into his anger and killing Count Dooku instead of letting Dooku stand trial for his Star Wars crimes, Musk seems to have goaded Boeing into action because the aviation company responded to that tweet with, game on, do it. Do it. Wait, wait. Skywalker. Do, do it. it. Do, do it. it. Yeah. So we've got ourselves a good old-fashioned space race. And while the last big space race was about two giant super world powers stroking their egos, this one is about two giant companies stroking their egos. I can't tell if this means that humanity is making progress in this regard or is stuck in some kind of, I don't know, arrested development. Did you keep the receipt? But hey, if we get to see some cool innovation happen, well, it's all fine by us. These guy. Oh. And that's all the time we have for this episode of Musk Watch. Bye. Bye. Thanks 
for watching this week's Musk Watch. Now remember to like and comment below with what you want to see launched in the Falcon Heavy into space for a billion years. Uh, can it be? <laughs> Name anything. <laughs> And if you've got any musky, I have no internal dialogue. And if you have any musky stories, send them our way at SciFile, at Dan Casey, and at Nerdist with the hashtag Musquatch! Oh, I know what you can send. Uh, nope, still can't think of anything. <laughs>